Hi, Basil Puglisi for Social Media Club here, celebrating with Young and Rubicam on their 90th anniversary or birthday, right, as you put it? <laughs> um, so we're sitting here with David Sable, who is the CEO of the Global Organization for Advertising. And I know there's a lot been made about you guys advertising and what you guys are doing and your opinion social media marketing. But what I wanted to ask you a question is, is that you guys have something else that you're committed to helping young businesses and organizations start. And yeah. I was told it's an incubator space. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about it? Yeah. So one of the things that we realized early on was that in order to inspire the people who work for us, as well as inspiring our own clients was that we needed to be on top of the technology that's out there and there's so much of it and so how do you how do you determine like what do you bring what's the next facebook what's the next big thing so rather than take some wild bet we went out and we started to connect with as many different young companies as we could companies that interested us companies that did one of two things either they were in the content creation side of the business and we call that creativity or they were in the business of enhancing the message through some kind of distribution, we call that innovation. So creativity is creating the story, innovation is distribution of that story. And we believe that the two together is what creates the experiences of today. So we basically went out and we said, all right, let's just meet as many of these companies as we can. We did, we have criteria, and the criteria that we set up was who do we think is smart, who do we think we can put in front of a client, who do we think has a real business model, and who already has enough scale and investment that if we beta with them or bring them to a client or try something that we can actually read a result. And so we did this and we called the spark plug and we have it in a number of countries around the world. We have it in New York, we have it in Tel Aviv, we have it in London, we have it in Singapore, um, we have it in France, a couple of other countries, I think we have it in Brazil, so that's six, seven countries. And we have probably about 15, 20 of these countries around, companies around the world, many of which have already done projects for our clients. And our clients appreciate it because they're bombarded by these companies all the time. They don't know how to value them or what metric to use in order to, to figure out who they should be talking to or how they should engage with them. And we're finding it very successful. In fact, you know, the, the, uh, the piece that you're going to see that you're seeing up here today comes from one of those companies. So obviously, you know, one of the big things uh, that we talk about, and we're just coming out of graduation time, we have a lot of young students coming, graduating college, uh, and, and we hope they're budding entrepreneurs. Uh, and Social Media Club has a lot of professionals that are trying to learn. Since you set up this space and your company supports the idea of growing entrepreneurs, new technology, creativity, and innovation, what's a piece of advice or something you would share with a young professional or a young company just getting started? What would you tell them to help prepare them for the next couple of years? So, you know, I've been an entrepreneur and I've started companies before. I think there are a few, you have to be really hard on yourself. If you really want to be successful, first of all, make sure no one else is doing exactly what you're doing. So that when you come in and you tell, you're selling me, you're selling David Savage, say, wow, I'm going to show you the greatest and only whatever that's ever been done in the market. And I sit there and go, hmm, I just saw your competition five minutes ago. Like, you, you got to be up on who's out there, who's doing what you're doing, and why you're different. So make sure you know who your competition is, make sure you understand your point of differentiation, make sure you understand why you're adding value that no one else can add. I think that's important, because I can't tell you the numbers of young people who come in and leave deflated, only to find out that we've seen a better company the day before. The second thing is make sure you've got your business model down. Like, how are you gonna make money? Now, you could argue that you really don't need to, to know how because Facebook's still not making money and Tumblr doesn't make money and look how much they sold for. And that's good, so if you're ready to take that bet that you're gonna be the one in a million to get there, that's fine, but you could be the other 999,000 and end up starving. So I think you had to figure out what your, like for example, I saw a young company this morning and I said, what's your business model? And he said, well, I have a few things, but you know, the top of the list is advertising. We're gonna sell advertising. And I just looked at him and I said, well, you know, what's your next job? Like, what are you doing on the side? And he said, what do you mean? I said, because you're not going to feed your family. You don't have enough audience. You never will. Facebook isn't making money in advertising yet. How are you going to make it on advertising? He said, well, I guess not. It's not advertising. It's really sales. I said, great. So he changed his business model sitting in front of me. I, I think, I think that, that that is the second piece. So one is differentiation. The second is really understand how you're going to make money. Like, what is the thing? that's going to monetize you. And I think if you do those two things, then it makes it really interesting for people like me, because I get your differentiation so I understand what you do and why you're useful to me. And then if I believe that you're monetizable, 
so you're really going to be around, then that makes it more interesting for me to take to a client because I know you've got staying power. David Sable, CEO, Young and Rubicam, celebrating their 90th anniversary. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.